Hello YouTube! Last month celebrated the 50th anniversary of a very special meteorite. I caught up with Sarah to find out more. So what have you got there? So th this is a piece of a meteorite called Iendi and um, we recently celebrated the 50th anniversary of this meteorite falling to earth. It fell in Mexico on the 8th of February 1969. And this meteorite, it's a type of meteorite we call a carbonaceous chondrite. But the particularly interesting thing about it is these small little pale grey, whitish pale grey bits. They are something that we call... So these bits here? Yeah, these bits here. These are something that we call calcium aluminium inclusions, or CAIs. And these are the very first solids that condense in our solar system. And the age of the solar system is often dated from the age of these CAIs. And the oldest of these have been dated to be 4.567 billion years old. And so, I guess in compared to the Earth's age, that's the Earth is... So the Earth is round about the same age, just a little bit younger, but there's no rocks from that time that have survived on Earth. Because the Earth is geologically active, uh, we have earthquakes, we have volcanoes, we have weather. The record from when it first formed, four and a half billion years ago, has been overwritten. Whereas in a meteorite like this one, which has barely changed at all since it first formed in the solar system, we can see um, we can see the starting materials, the, the components that built the asteroids, the Earth and the other objects in the solar system. Cool. So what are the other things in this rock? So we've got the CAIs, uh, yeah, which so are these white bits. The whitey bits are the CAIs. There's some um, chondrules, so there's some circular regions like here, or I think there's one there and maybe another one there, a couple down here. Mm -hmm. Chondrules are usually a, a nice round circular shape and they are also among the earliest solids that formed in our solar system. They're not quite as old as CAIs but they're almost that old. And I'm sure we'll cover chondrules specifically at one point, there's a lot to talk there's, about. There chondrules. is. <laughs> This was also one of the biggest meteorites, wasn't it, I think? It was, yes. I, I think about two tonnes fell in total, and I think the largest piece was around about 100 kilograms. And they were found over quite an area. Um, as I said, it fell. It was seen to fall through the sky in February 1969 in Mexico. And the pieces of rock that landed covered quite a large area that we call the strewn field. So it's a CV3 chondrite. That's that correct. Mean? So the C means it's a carbonaceous chondrite. Um, CV are a group of carbonaceous chondrites. So we like to group meteorites into different types. CV is a particular type um, and it's named after another meteorite similar to this one called Vigorano. The three tells us how much it's been altered. If we go from three up to higher numbers, that measures thermal metamorphism. If we go to lower numbers, one and two, that tells us the degree of aqueous alteration. But a meteorite that's a type three has barely been altered at all. They're the least altered types of meteorite. It might seem a bit silly to start the scale with three, but that's where it starts. When the Earth first formed, it underwent a process we call differentiation. And what that means is that it got hot and it melted and all the heavy stuff, like the metal, sank to the core of the Earth and all the light, rocky material uh, rose to the surface. So we're standing on the rocky surface and all the metal is in the centre of the Earth. The same process happened on some asteroids and we call those differentiated asteroids. The asteroids that chondrite meteorites come from, whether they're carbonaceous chondrites or ordinary chondrites, never differentiated. So while some of them might have experienced some degree of heating and thermal metamorphism, they never got hot enough to melt and differentiate. So there we have it, a very special meteorite that represents the building blocks of not only the Earth, but the entire solar system. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. But until next time, thanks for watching.